What's going on everybody, Kalipas Tech here, coming back at you with another video. In this video, I'm going to be giving you 5 reasons why you should buy the Motorola Moto G Stylus 2023. Now as always, if you do end up wanting to learn more about this phone, be sure to check out the description, where we'll be linking to several other videos about it, as well as some information about pricing, availability, and some of my favorite smartphone accessories. But with that being said, let's get into it. So my first reason why you should buy this phone is the camera quality. Now to give you a quick rundown of the camera setup here, with this phone, up front we got a pretty nice looking hole punch design for the selfie camera. This camera is 8 megapixels. Then on the back, we got a dual camera setup with a 50 megapixel main camera and a 2 megapixel macro camera. Now on one hand, seeing as the Moto G Stylus 2022 actually had an ultra wide camera too, it's kind of disappointing this phone doesn't. I don't know why they took that feature away, but aside from this, I do think the photo quality with this phone is actually really impressive for what it is. To give you an idea of what it can do, here are some pictures taken with the Moto G Stylus 2023. And again, in general, considering this is a really affordable entry level phone, even more affordable than its predecessor, I do think the quality we're getting here is really impressive. For things most people are typically using smartphone cameras for nowadays, stuff like Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, sending things to friends and family, and even just taking things for your own memory, no matter what you're doing, despite not really having a ton of features, the actual photo quality we're getting here is good enough to get the job done for pretty much anything. Now, of course, if you're coming from a really high high-end device, like maybe you have an older flagship phone like a Samsung Galaxy S10 for example. In that kind of situation, this might still feel like a bit of a downgrade, especially considering, again, the lack of features. And despite being good for what it is, the quality is not going to be nearly as good as a higher-end phone. But at the same time, if you are really just looking for something more basic and affordable, but you want to make sure you still get good photo quality, you're definitely not going to go wrong here. My second reason why you should buy the Motorola Moto G Stylus 2023 is because as the name suggests, this phone does have a stylus. Now at this point in 2023, aside from a really high-end phone like the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, if you want a phone that has a stylus, you really don't have a whole lot of options. You could get something like the TCL Stylus 5G, but if you don't use T-Mobile or Metro, that phone's not even an option, so that really just leaves Motorola Moto G Stylus phones of some sort. And while the Moto G Stylus 2022 is a great phone, and I have made a comparison between this phone and that phone on the channel. If you want something that's a bit newer and is going to get the latest software, then at this point, until the 2023 version of the Moto G Stylus 5G comes out, this phone is really the best option. The stylus itself has a really nice pop-out design, which definitely isn't a surprise seeing that most phones nowadays that have this feature do have the same kind of design. And for what it is, I do think the stylus here is actually pretty good. In fact, to me, it seems like every year, on every new Moto G Stylus phone, the stylus just seems to get better every time. So yeah, while it's not going to be nearly as good as something like a Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, and you're not going to be able to do any actual real art or anything like that. If you want to do stuff like take handwritten notes, or maybe navigate through your display or play game or something like that, it will definitely get the job done. So in general, if you are looking for a more affordable phone that has a stylus, then you're definitely not going to be disappointed here. My third reason why you should buy the Motorola Moto G Stylus 2023 is the overall design. Now, despite in some areas, again, being kind of a downgrade from the Moto G Stylus 2022, I do like the design we're getting here. Despite not being made of the most premium materials, it has a kind of nice looking finish on the back. Everything does feel really nice. It doesn't feel cheap or anything like that. The phone has a surprisingly decent amount of weight to it. And despite having a smaller display than its predecessor, the phone itself feels really comfortable to hold. It's really sleek and has this modern look. The thinner bezels really help with that, and I really like the front facing camera, it does look really nice. So whether you're using a case or not, if you are looking for a phone that has a nice modern design, the Moto G Stylus 2023 will be a great choice for you. My fourth reason why you should buy the Motorola Moto G Stylus 2023 is the battery. Now with this phone, we're getting a 5000 mAh battery that supports 15 watt fast charging, so definitely a great battery here. With a 5000 mAh battery, you can expect to get some real good battery life. So if you're in a situation where you're not always around a charger, but you still need to use your phone all day, the Moto G Stylus 2023 3 is definitely a phone you can depend on to actually last. And in addition to this, over time as the battery degrades, which all batteries do, with a phone like this that has a larger battery, you're not going to notice the battery dying out nearly as quickly as you would with a much smaller battery. So if you like to get one phone and keep it for a longer time without having to replace it, this phone will be good for that too. And with 15 watt fast charging, despite not being the absolute best fast charging you can get, honestly in this price range it's pretty much as good as you're going to find and in my experience with a 15 watt fast charger, the charging speed you get with this phone is actually pretty good. 
good. So for most people, you're not going to have an issue there. And then finally, my fifth reason why you should buy the Motorola Moto G Stylus 2023 is the software. Now with this phone, it does come with Android 13, so definitely great to see. So if you want the latest version of Android, that's not going to be a problem. And in addition to this, seeing as the Moto G Stylus 2022 that originally came with Android 11 recently got an update to Android 12, I'm imagining in the future, this phone is at least going to get Android 14, if not Android 15 beyond that. So definitely great there. And when it comes to Motorola's Android skin, I found it to be a really nice experience. It's not like Samsung's, for example, that has a bunch of extra stuff now. Don't get me wrong, I do actually like One UI, but with Motorola's skin, it's a lot more basic. So if you want a more simple interface and you really just don't need a ton of crazy features or anything, the software we get with the Moto G Stylus 2023 is going to be pretty good for you. But those were my five reasons why you should buy the Motorola Moto G Stylus 2023. Again, if you do end up wanting to learn more about this phone, definitely check out the description where I am linking to several other videos about it, as well as some information about pricing, availability, and some of my favorite smartphone accessories. But that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow Kalipas Tech on Twitter and Instagram. And as always, I will see you in the next video.